What's going on everybody? Welcome back to what should be a pretty quick video because today I'm going to be showing you how you can upload your mod to CurseForge. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is get a working exported playable version of your mod that you know you yourself can load into Minecraft and play and use. If you made your mod from scratch, honestly, I'm not sure how to do that, but if you use mCreator, the tool that we use for modding all the time here on this channel, then it's pretty simple. All you have to do is come up here to where it says workspace, click on the button, and then press export the mod for distribution. As soon as you click it, it's going to take just a minute. As you can see, it's kind of frozen. Uh, but once it all processes here, it's going to start exporting the mod for, uh, for distribution, and you'll get a playable version of the mod that you can share to websites such as CurseForge or the mCreator website itself. Now, I will recommend before you go ahead and export the mod for distribution, go ahead and check your workspace settings and just make sure that all of these settings are like you want it. Make sure that your display name is what you want your display name to be. Maybe change your mod version around so that this matches the you know current version of the mod that you are trying to export. You know, if you already have version one out, then maybe this new version is version two. If you're using any plugins, I would recommend that you go over here to the external AI uh, APIs and then under additional required mods, add things like Gecko Lib or just enough items or, or whatever you need for your additional plugins so that if players try to load the mod without these add-ons or additional required mods loaded in, they'll get an error saying, hey, you need to go ahead and install Gecko Lib or whatever it may be because if you are using these plugins and you don't add them to these additional required mods right here, then the player will get an error, but it won't tell them why they're getting an error. And that can be really frustrating for anyone trying to download and use your mod. Once it's done exporting, you'll be given a screen like this with the option to export without donating or donate and export your mod. It's completely up to you, but do remember that it's completely free to use mCreator and you can always export without donating. It'll give you your file right here. You can name it whatever you want and then you can save it wherever you want on your computer. Once you're done, go up to Google or whatever your browser is and search for CurseForge. You're going to need to create an account if you don't have one. I already have one right here uh, and you're going to want to go to my profile. You can see I already have my mod posted and uploaded right here. Uh, but if you don't have your mod posted yet or anything like that, you're going to want to click on manage projects right here and then start a new project right up here. It's going to ask you to choose what game your mod is for, and this is for Minecraft. But honestly, I suppose you could follow the same tutorial if you have a mod for any of these games. But once you've chosen your game, once again, we are choosing Minecraft. It'll bring you over here to general where you can give it a name. Uh, you can then upload an image for it right here, give a brief summary or description of your mod and what it does. Next, you have to choose a class here. So if you're doing, you know, bucket plugins, mod packs, customization, shaders, add-ons, etc., etc. But for the sake of this video, we are doing a mod. Then you have to choose a main category. This is required. Uh, if your mod doesn't really fit this category or anything like this, just find one that best fits it. it it doesn't exactly matter this is just going to be what category your mod is sorted under if you know uh, the viewer decides to sort their mod by category there is an in creator category right here so that's actually what i put my mod under because first and foremost it is after all an in creator mod you have the option to allow comments or make this project an experimental project. I'm honestly not sure what experimental means, but I would recommend not checking this unless you are sure that that's what you want. And you can also add additional categories here if you want. I think you can add up to five additional categories, but I'm not sure. Once you're done filling in all of the stuff in here, just click on description up here, give your mod a brief description. And then once you're done here, you can press next and choose your licensing. Honestly, I don't know much about uh, licensing and stuff like that. But from what I do know, just kind of scrolling through here, pretty much any of these would work. Uh, I do know that public domain means anyone can use anything from your mod however they want. I don't think they even have to attribute it to you. I think they can sell it. It's pretty open. And 
Personally, I just use Academic Free License version 3 because essentially what this means is anyone can use your mod however they want. They just have to attribute it to you whenever they do so. And, you know, I think that's fair. To anyone who does know how these work, please don't quote me on, on, the, on any of this or maybe share it down in the comments down below because, you know, I really don't know much about uh, licensing and stuff like that. If you want, you can always press view full license and whatever license you have selected here, it'll give you a full description of how that license works so you can kind of get a better idea of what you're saying. Finally, it's going to ask you about project distribution uh, and really your only option is to allow distribution to third parties or don't allow distribution to third parties. Now, I'm pretty sure what this means is if there's a third party website that skims websites like CurseForge for mods, do you want this mod to appear on those websites and have people download them from there? Or do you only want this mod to appear on CurseForge? Personally, I don't see any reason not to allow distribution to third parties websites but if you want to set it up to not allow it that's totally up to you but once you're all done press create now I'm not gonna press create because that was just a test I've already got my mod published right here and good to go uh, but once you've published your mod you'll you know pretty much see a screen like this that allows you to manage the mod um, kind of tweak things around, add comments, add photos to this photo gallery, um, uh, upload more files to the mod whenever you release new updates, etc, etc. So if we click on manage, it actually brings us to this website right here, or you know, this page where you can, you know, tweak your mod around even more, continue to change things however you want. And whenever you, uh, and the biggest thing to note is whenever you upload a new file, its status will be pending until it is approved by the CurseForge moderation community, just to make sure that it is appropriate and not like, you know, violating the terms of service or anything like that. It should only take, I believe, two to five days for them to respond. Sometimes if it's a holiday, it takes even longer. But for the most part, that is pretty much it. So I really hope that you guys found this tutorial helpful. And if you have any comments, of course, leave them in the comment section down below. But until next time, peace out.